Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to go through the weather modification operations in California, October the 1st, 1962 to September the 30th, 1963. Previous video covered 1965 to 1966. You'll remember that's the Ronald, Ronald Reagan report. So this is an earlier version. So you can see this was produced in June 1964. Hugo Fisher was the administrator for the Resources Agency in California. Edmund G. Brown, Governor, State of California. William E. Warren, Director, Department of Water Resources. Bulletin number 1663. So if we start with a letter of transmittal, I have the honor to transmit herewith a report of the Department of Water Resources entitled Weather Modification Operations in California October the 1st, 1962 to September the 30th, 1963. During the period covered by the report, there were 10 projects involving weather modification operations which were undertaken in California. These were accomplished by nine of the 11 operators who were licensed by the Department of Such Activities. William E. Warren, Director. So we we'll go through the licensee holders North American Weather Consultants, Santa Barbara, California. Water Resources Development Corporation, Colorado. Weather Modification Company, California. Precipitation Control Company of California, California. North American Weather Consultants of California, California. Los Angeles County Flood Control District, California. Atmospherics Incorporated, California. San Bernardino Valley Municipal Water District, California. Pacific Gas and Electric Company, California. International Weather Control Incorporated, Nevada. KRC Service Corporation, California. So if we go through the introduction, this report presents a summary of all weather modification projects conducted in California during the period October the 1st, 1962 through September the 30th, 1963, as reported to the Department of Water Resources in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 4, Division 1 of the Water Code. Appended to this report are the statutes on the regulation and control of natural precipitation by artificial means. These statutes provide in part that no person, without first securing a license from the department, shall cause or attempt to cause condensation or precipitation of rain, snow, moisture or water in any form contained in the atmosphere, or shall prevent or attempt to prevent by artificial means the natural condensation or precipitation of rain, snow, moisture or water in any form contained in the atmosphere. On being issued a license by the department, the licensee may operate projects in the areas and periods specified in the notices of intention to modify natural precipitation by artificial means. These notices must be published by the licensee in newspapers having a general circulation and published in each county where the operation is to be conducted. At the conclusion of each weather modification project, the licensee is required by law to submit a completion report to the Department of Water Resources. These reports include such information as the name of the agency sponsoring the project, location of the project, log of all seeding operations, cloud seeding techniques and type of equipment used, and the names of all persons who assisted in the operation. These completion reports are summarised by the Department in an annual report on weather modification operations in California. This is the eighth report published in this series which summarises completion reports submitted to the department since July 1952. A detailed report which presents the theory of weather modification, evaluation of methods and results, and a history of cloud seeding operations from July 1947 through June 1952 was published by the State Water Resources Board in June 1955 as Bulletin Number 16, Weather Modification Operations in California. 
Summary of 1962-63 Operations During the period October 1962 through September 1963, 10 weather modification operations were conducted in California, from Plumas County in the north to San Diego County in the south. Of the 10 cloud seeding projects, 9 were for the stated purposes of increasing precipitation and 1 was for suppressing hail. Five of these operations were concentrated along the western slope of the Sierra Nevada mountains and one was concentrated in the central coast range for the purpose of increasing precipitation on watersheds above water conservation reservoirs or hydroelectric installations. Precipitation increase was also the purpose of the three seeding projects in Southern California. The single hail suppression project covered most of the lower Sacramento Valley. Approximate areas affected by cloud seeding operations during 1962-63 are shown on plate 1. The year covered by this report was one of the better water supply seasons of recent history. A major portion of the total rainfall, which approached or exceeded the 50-year average in most areas, fell during the months of October, March and April. Even though clouds with rain producing potential were available for only relatively short periods, paralleling the weather of the 1961-62 season, the total number of days in which seeding took place increased by 46. During the 1962-63 season, 10 projects were conducted by 9 licensees. The total operating time of ground-based generators on these projects was 23,952 hours. Nine operators used silver iodide as a nucleating agent for ground-based generators and one used non-toxic metallic halloids in an experimental project. Dry ice solidified carbon dioxide and silver iodide were used in airborne generators in four of the projects. During this period an estimated 390,653 grams or 861 pounds of silver iodide, 3,527 pounds of halloids and 4,576 pounds of dry ice were released. The amount of silver iodide released during the 1962-63 season was 176% of that released during the 1961-62 season. Total operating time during the 1962-63 season was 151% of the previous seasons. Of the 365 calendar days during the year covered by this report, Seeding operations were conducted on 133 days as opposed to 87 days for the 1961-62 season. During the period covered by this report, no licenses expired and license number 25 was issued to KRC Service Corporation. So we go through some of the target areas on the map. The dark grey areas are the target areas or the shaded areas of the target areas. That was a quick um, a quick summary of those operations. Again, it's just more evidence, more proof of what was going on in the past. It's back to you and backs people up in what's going on now. Take care. Thanks for watching, listening. See you next time.